Welcome to a special BBC London programme. Tonight we're live in Farringdon on a huge day for the capital. It's Europe's largest ever construction project and one of London's most controversial. Conceived in the 80s, cancelled in the 90s and back on in the 2000s. Running from Berkshire in the west to Essex in the east cutting deep underground through central London. This is where the passengers will be, eventually. It's cost 19 billion pounds. 10,000 workers have created an enormous new tunnel and built 10 gleaming new stations. An inspiring marvel of engineering. Four billion pounds over budget, nearly four years late. But now the Elizabeth line is here. Good evening and welcome. I'm Alice Bandakravi. Tonight we're in the brand new Farringdon station for a special programme on an historic day for the capital as the Elizabeth Line opens, linking the east and west. The route runs from Reading in the west into central London with a spur off to Heathrow and the line goes out to Shenfield in Essex and Abbey Wood in the east. So after years of construction and delays, the first passengers boarded the trains today, as our transport correspondent Tom Edwards reports. <laughs> 